Hey guys. So, uh, quite honestly, I'm, you know, really sick of hearing people complain about the last color fill video. I understand. It wasn't the best color to go on that gun, but, you know, customer's gun, customer wants what the customer wants, and he's subtle, and he wanted subtle. So, black on OD green, it's not going to show up great on video. I get that. So, I'm going to fix that tonight. And what we're going to do is this black uh, 1911 slide on one side, I'm going to color fill it red. On the other side, I'm going to color fill it white so you can see what both colors look. And this way, if you're thinking about maybe doing your AR or something like that, um, and it's a black AR, you know, you'll, you'll have a good thing, you know, a good way to gauge whether or not you want to go with those colors, okay? So, uh, here in a couple minutes, when we come back to the video, we'll be set up and, and we'll just get right into it. See you in a minute. All right, guys. So, what we're going to do is, on this side of the gun, I'm going to do white. On this side of the gun, I'm going to do red. And I'm just going to do the letters. Okay, there's no need for me to do the detail work here uh, because it just won't show up as good for the amount of time I'll have to wait for the paint to dry so I don't wipe it all out of the, out of the uh, grooves. Okay, so um, <clears throat> on this side, I'm going to use... What the hell did I do with the paint pen, Todd? There it is. Okay, I'm going to use uh, the tester's enamel paint marker for the white, and I'm going to use a brush... Uh, so you guys can see what it's like to brush on the paint on the other side, okay? Um, the first thing, obviously, is to clean clean the slide. I'm going to use mineral spirits like I did last time. Clean both sides. And what that's doing is it's taking uh, any residual lubrication, gun oil, uh, hand, you know, oil from your hands, <laughs> um, you know, just dirt, junk off of the slide so that the paint has adheres better okay so shake up the paint pen and if you decide to use a paint pen and have at it So there's a white. Generally on these, I will do, you're going to have to do probably two coats, and you'll understand why uh, when I'm done, but basically you let this dry for a little bit, and you come back with the mineral spirits, and you wipe off the excess, and invariably you're going to pull some of that paint off of the, out of the grooves, okay? So what I normally do is let it dry, you know, 10, 15 minutes, whatever, okay, come back, wipe it all down, if any anything gets pulled out, I touch it up, and then I can let it dry overnight if I want to, because the mineral spirits, rubbing alcohol, all that stuff will, will take the paint off of the slide uh, if you let it dry overnight, okay, so, while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and shake up the red paint now painting with a brush is a little bit different it's not massively different but it is a little bit different okay what I'm going to do here is I'm going to yeah that'll work we still in frame good? Mm -hmm. okay um, I propped it up so that the white paint that's still drying on the other side doesn't get spread out all over the paper towel. So I'm using a, a, three, a 3.0 paintbrush. You can get them in any hobby store, Hobby Lobby, um, anything like that, okay? 
and just standard red testers, uh, red enamel. Okay, it's the same stuff that's in the paint pens. I just don't actually have a red paint pen right now. Uh, it ran dry, so I'm going to use a brush for this one. Um, this takes a, a little bit longer. It's not quite as fast as using the pen, but it's not really, really slow either. And you have to go back and you know, get more paint, obviously. It's okay to goop the stuff on, okay? I mean, you don't want to pour it on, but you don't want to be stingy with it either. Because on some guns, you know, an AR, you know, the bullet markings and stuff might be pretty wide grooves. Now on camera this just looks like just a bunch of red paint, but it's actually filling in the grooves nice. It's not going to be as obvious what it's going to look like as the white will be uh, because, well, it's red. So, taken. Clean the brush. Okay, so in a few minutes, I'm going to give this stuff about 15 minutes or so to dry, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to wipe it off so that you can actually see the letters, all right? See you in a few minutes. Good. All right, guys, so it's dried off enough. It's dried enough to where we can start to take some of the uh, excess off. A little bit of mineral spirits, and just gently wipe. Doesn't that look beautiful? Wow, that really does look good. Now what's going to happen, you can see the, the white paint here. Um, what's going to happen is you're going to have, especially if you use paint, you're going to have a little bit of extra around, okay? The best thing to do is just to let it dry, okay? And then, and then go after it when everything is completely dry. So we'll take on the red side, and we'll do the same thing on the red side. You don't need to get in a rush, okay? Just have at it. You don't have to push too hard. In fact, it's bad if you push too hard because you'll push the rag or the cleaning patch or whatever you're using to clean the paint off, you'll push it down into the into the lettering itself, into the engraving, and you'll pull paint out, which is what you don't want to do. You want to avoid that, okay? Now this one here will not require a second coat, which is good. So there's how it looks red on black, and it's not dry, but it's getting close. And there's what white on black looks like. Okay, now you can do this with model paint, you can do it with Chinese markers, otherwise known as grease pencils. Um, you can do it with Crayola crayons. The problem that you're going to have with crayons or grease markers pencils is they're not going to be 
as impervious to solvents and oils. They're going to get dirty. Um, eventually, it's going to start to bleed out because it's wax, okay? So, you know, the paint will stay a lot longer, okay? I have heard of people using nail polish. I never, have never personally used nail polish, but people say that it, you get good results from nail polish as well. So, I hope this is better than the last one we did. Well, I know it's better. I mean, it, it's, the results are painfully obvious. There's white on black. There's red on black. Now, if you want to see what it would look like on an AR, here's white and red on an AR lower, and here's white and red on an AR lower. Okay? I haven't forgotten about the Punisher AR. Okay? It's still a project. It's just kind of on the back burner for now. But that's what it looks like on an AR. And we will see you guys next week. Rich from GunTortureTest.com. See ya.